What is going on everybody? Doreen Collective is the name of the channel. My name is Winthorpe and I wanted to talk about a piece of software that I have been so late to using and I'm not sure why. Well, I do know why, but I've been shooting on the A7S III for a while. Love it. Great. You know, there's plenty of videos out there that, you know, if you can, if you're a part of the Sony ecosystem and you want it to upgrade, A7S III is great. All that good stuff. Pros and cons. One of the cons was, yes, the stabilization is a bit poor the ibis isn't the greatest especially for someone like me that does a lot of run and gun so most of the time i would just try to avoid it unless i have a gimbal and i was like man for this camera to be such an awesome camera and all the beautiful things that it could do that stabilization really would hurt a lot of things that i would love to shoot and work on because i just didn't want to bring a gimbal you know a lot of times it's just spur of the moment i just want to get the camera out and go but you, know, you would hear, hey, download Catalyst Browse and it can help stabilize. And I saw the videos showcasing how well it can stabilize footage, but I'm just like, ah, do I really want to get another piece of software, export it into Catalyst Browse, export it out, now export it into or input it into Adobe, uh, edit it, blah, 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 export it out. I really didn't want to do that. So for the longest, I've truly just avoided it and would either just bring a gimbal or a lot of times I just wouldn't even use the A7S III for that particular shot. I would use something else. But I finally downloaded the software and I was like, whoa. <laughs> you know, I just did like very a quick test. I did a quick vlog test and I'll show some footage, right? Sure, I'm putting it in here somewhere. And I had some footage that I did when I was uh, at the Botanical Garden in Atlanta. And I was just like, let me just see what it can do. I was like, okay, what is my problem? What, why am I playing here? It came out really, really good. For what it would normally look like, and you'll see, I'll have uh, the side-by-sides, to what it looked like afterwards, I was like, this is great. This made me fall in love with this camera all over again because it would get a little annoying. Like, I don't want to always have to set up a gimbal and or I would have to hold the camera super steady when I'm shooting something. So, Catalyst Browse, listen, if you are doing a lot of run and gun stuff, if you need something where it's spur of the moment just to get it out, man, Catalyst Browse is where it's at. I mean, yes, we all would like to have better stabilization in body, you know, better in camera stabilization. Absolutely, of course, of course, of course. But this kind of solves the problem for now, right? For now, I'm sure you know the A7S, the A7 IV. You know, I'm hearing it has better stabilization, and I'm sure the newer models coming out after that, it's going to fix that problem. But in the meantime, this is coming from an A7S III user. If you have any footage that you do not want to put on a gimbal or don't even have a gimbal for that matter oh go ahead and download catalyst browse that is just a fact yes it's going to add a few more steps to your workload that is very true but the payoff is super great i'm still going to do some more sample videos to show before and after but i just what i had and what i was able to to see i was like man i'm sold so check it out let me know what you think let me know if you guys have been using catalyst browse and uh yeah let me know so until the next time guys more videos are on the way peace